Quantum coherence. Currently, there are two interpretations of the emissions of biophotons. One, the biochemical theory explains that biophotons are energetic waste from metabolic and oxidative processes. According to Advigen and Avigen, 2013, the oxidative metabolic processes of cells generate reactive oxygen species, ROS, such as H2O2. These products lead to the excitation of constituents of the cells producing ultra-weak light. 2. The coherence theory emphasizes that the emissions of biophotons originates from nonlinear coherent interactions between weak radiation and collective biomolecules, providing an optical channel information. These interactions can be described by the following theories. Quantum, thermodynamics, chaos theory, statistical physics of non-equilibrium, and the electrodynamic quantum cavity theory of cooperative radiation. Living systems are essentially open systems which maintain continuous exchanges of energy and matter with the environment. Survival is based on a process known as negative entropy. When a system has enough negative entropy, it can maintain an order and organized state. This state of planning and negative entropy is related to the phenomenon of quantum coherence. The concept of coherence is linked to the extreme sensitivity of a living system to external input, amplification of incoming signals, and the fast and efficient transformation and transfer of energy. The energy flowing in the meridians has negative entropy, and its physical side effects can be measured by apparatus such as the AMI of Motoyama and the electrograph holding of Dumitrescu. According to Kuo Gu, 1999, the coherence theory of biophoton emissions is based on an essential understanding of biological systems as follows. 1. Openness Biological systems are essentially open systems which are pumped by external energy sources and retain considerably large deviations from thermal equilibrium. Such a non-equilibrium state of biological systems probably leads to long-range coherence in them. The biophotons may thus be tracked back to the coherence, carrying information within and between cellular systems. 2. Nonlinearity Vital phenomena are highly nonlinear. The macroscopic properties of a biological system cannot be represented by a simple summation from the microscopic properties of its respective subsystems. In fact, all the subsystems are integrated through a correlation that results in a complex system with a certain macroscopic order. In complex biological systems, the physiological interactions obey nonlinear parameters. A nonlinear dynamic system is a system that evolves in the time domain with an unbalanced and aperiodic behavior where its future state is extremely dependent on its present state and can be radically changed from small changes in the present. 3. Cooperativity Life actions are collective efforts of many biological subjects, and there is a cooperation between the individual subjects. In short, quantum coherence is related to the ability that photons have to work synergistically and collaboratively, organizing biological processes. When this state of coherence is lost for any reason, the biological system can enter into a positive entropy state, losing its organization and balance, which enables the appearance of diseases and symptoms in the physical body. Therefore, quantum coherence can be used to explain the organizational capacity of qi. Quantum biology recognizes that there is some kind of informative field capable of maintaining order in more complex biological systems. According to Dr. Paul Druin, Syntropy is a tendency of all living things to reach higher levels of energetic output and consequent transformation. This is possible because the blueprints of vital body can give form and organization to the biological functions. Dr. Druin states that our thoughts and feelings can affect the meridians, the morphogenetic fields, and the correspondent organs. Negative mental states, for example, can generate a quantum state of decoherence, which creates imbalances in the vital and physical bodies. According to Benila, 2008, intention manifests itself as an electric and magnetic energy producing an ordered flux of photons. Our intentions seem to operate as highly coherent frequencies capable of changing the molecular structure of matter. For the intention to be effective, it is necessary to choose the appropriate time.